In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cigar box guitar using this, my dog's bowl. I hope he's not looking for it. Buster! So why would you want to make a cigar box guitar dog bowl resonator? Well, number one, they have a very unique sound. Number two, you could show it off to your friends because they probably don't have one. Number three, they look awesome. And number four, they look super, super awesome. Let's start off with a tip about the wood for your guitar neck. Uh, here I have a piece of poplar, one by two, and a piece of oak, one by two, is what people usually use for their necks. You can buy these at the big box stores. They come in a variety of lengths. The only problem is trying to get them straight. Great if you want to make a hockey stick, but not good if you want to make a cigar box guitar neck. And a lot of times I cannot find a straight one at the big box store I go to. I'm not going to mention their name. It uh, does start with an L and end with an S. It has O-W-E in the middle. So what do you do, you might ask? Well, what I do is I'll get a board, either this is poplar, sometimes I get oak, sometimes I get others. I'll get a board, this is six foot by six inches wide, but don't let them fool you, six inches wide is really only five and a half inches. But I'll look for one of these, nice and straight like that there, and I'll just rip strips of one by twos out of this wood, like this. Why am I wearing this headband, you might ask? Well, I'm a really big fan of the Rambo movies. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it holds my pencil. Let's get to work. I have three nice pieces of six foot one by twos. And I also get this little piece here left over. With those three pieces of one by twos, six foot, that means I have to make more than one guitar. Darn it, man! <sighs> this is the box I chose for my cigar box guitar dog bowl resonator. The first thing I want to do is sand all the paper off the box. That looks great. Let's start the build. Now you don't have to sand the paper off the box that you're going to use, that's optional. Uh, I have an idea in my head that how I want it to look, but you can do that any way you want to. This Arturo Fuente box is 10 inches in length, 7 and 3 quarter inches this way, and 2 inches thick. And the dog bowl I'm using right here is 6 inches in diameter, and I got it at the Dollar Tree. Buster says it was okay that I use his bowl as long as I buy him a new one, a bigger one, that holds more food, he said. He talks to me, you know. A few other things I'll be using during this build is a strike plate I will be using for my tailpiece back there, a, a jack, and a disc piezo. Now I'm going to want the bowl to go about right here on my cigar box guitar, right there. It leaves me a little room up here for a couple sound holes. It leaves a little space in the back for a little piece of wood that I'm going to have to put in here to screw my plate back here for the strings. But you can't actually put the bowl on there and draw a circle and cut it out because the bowl will fall through the top. Because there is a quarter inch lip around this bowl. Now what I found as a perfect template to cut out these holes is one of these. And this comes off this. The oatmeal lid is the same exact size you need to cut out this dog bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dog bowl size template right here. I'm going to try to center it as much as I can and I'm going to draw my circle. I did trace my little dog bowl size template right here onto my box. If you can see that, that's where it's going to go. I did drill a hole here also for my saw blade to go in. And here you could use uh, whatever saw you have handy, jigsaw, coping saw, 
uh, whatever scroll saw and I'm gonna go cut out this circle well I did cut my hole out here using a jigsaw and I found out that this bowl here is slightly bigger than the bowls I've used in the past so this template was a little small a little so what I had to do is after I cut the hole out to get the bowl to fit I had to take my little file here and kind of go around in there a little bit to give me a good fit yeah now the piece you cut out of the middle save that because we will be using that later in the build well you have the hole cut out in your box your bowl fits in good now what do you do next to get this box ready to install your neck stick around I'm going to show you that next I do have the box notched out for my neck and the neck is half built laying over there I'm not going to get into how I did this or how I built the neck I will leave uh, a few videos in the description below on how I do that but this one this video here is concentrating more on how I built the box for the resonator guitar and how you attach the neck now a lot of cigar box guitars have a neck through design which is the neck is going all the way through the box and sticking out the back and the strings are attached here a dog bowl resonator like say for instance this is your neck laying down like that you can't really do that with a dog bowl resonator because there's a dog bowl in the way now say this is your guitar neck for your dog bowl resonator if you put the neck in and push it in it hits the bowl and that's about as far as you can go in with your neck right here so what do you do in that case I'm going to show you that right now this is the neck I'm using for this dog bowl resonator right here now usually the neck would be a little longer because it would be going through the box or almost through the box but in this case it's only this long because of the dog bowl but it will be a little longer because I'm going to put a little added piece on the bottom here which I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that and this piece will go under the dog bowl now this probably looks like a puzzle uh, from up there but this is how I'm going to do it uh, I'm going to put my box lid on now when you have the strings on here pushing down on the dog bowl which will be here it's going to cause your box to bend in in the middle and this setup will eliminate that bending as well this is kind of a weird camera angle so I hope you see everything as I'm doing this as I'm putting this together to show you how I do this now don't forget I will have this stripe plate as at the back here as the tailpiece and I have to have something to screw that in so I got a little piece of wood here that's going to go on the bottom here to lift this one by two up along with this little piece that fits like this now my box lid fits exactly right on there will not push down okay continuing I have this heel that's going to go through the middle of the box my neck will attach to this heel just like that okay these two pieces here are going to go in the corners that I will put I'll have four screws holding the box top down and they will screw into there plus it gives the box added support I have these two one by twos that will go on the side of the neck just like this now when I made when I cut out the notch for the neck I notice I have a little space right under here so this doesn't fit flush down so what I did to alleviate that I made this little piece right here laminated together which will go right here which makes my neck fit if I can get it straight flush against this heel at the bottom these pieces here these one by twos will go on the side and that's how that's going to look my box lid will go here my bowl will hit right on the side just like that Now I hope you can see this in, in this little heel on the, on the bottom of the box I have two little notches cut out here and here because when I put the lid on and dropped the bowl in the bowl sat up just a hair it would not go flush to the top of my box I didn't like that so I notched this out just a little bit 
so my box or my bowl would fit down a little farther. So now the bowl fits flush against the top of the box. Right now I'm going to take all these pieces out and glue them all into the box. Now I'm going to take my little heel, I'm calling it, that goes on the bottom of the box, my little laminated shim right here, and my guitar neck. And I'm going to attach that all together. I'm going to glue it. After I get that part glued together, I'll show you how it looks. Here is the piece that I glued onto the bottom of the neck. Now I don't have a lot of glue space on here just this much right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put two dowels right here two half inch dowels using this which was a piece of the back of an old chair it's a half inch i've already cut two right here and i'm going to put them right through completely through this guitar neck here i'm going to take my little dowels i have them cut i did take a my little saw and put a lot of little marks around it so the glue has a place to stick in there and we're just going to glue them in. I got my two dowels right there glued in. Now when this dries you'll need a chainsaw to get that apart. And this is how the neck's going to fit into the box if you remember i had these two by twos yes i'm sorry last time i called them one by twos but these are two by twos what i did was i modified them just slightly by taking this corner off like this because i wasn't thinking about putting my sound holes in there i even cut this and these little blocks in half so i would have more room here for sound holes I'm pretty close to having that cigar box guitar finished. All I'm going to do is put a finish on the box and a finish on the neck, and I'm going to show you how I put it all together. And you don't want to miss that. Remember that piece we cut out of the cigar box I told you to save that we're going to use it later in the build? Well, we're going to use this to cut a round biscuit bridge that's going to go right on top of the uh, dog bowl here. And that's a little over two inches. So I'm going to use this two inch hole saw and Cut a bridge out of this. Well, I've got my biscuit that I've cut out of my little piece of wood here. And you'll notice it has a hole through it because I've used one of these little hole cutting saws. So the drill bit goes in there and you got a hole. But it's okay because I'm going to fill this because this is going to be painted to match my box. I am done adding the finish to the box and the neck. And this is what I've got. It's a really nice color. It's called Island Splash. Ooh. Anyway, I finished the neck as well. Did a matching headstock on that with Island Splash. Ooh. Now we're going to take the neck and install it in the box. Now when I finished the box, I did add some stain to the inside. Now I usually do not glue my guitar necks into my cigar box guitars. But in this case with the dog bowl resonator, because of the way the, the bowl is and the box has to, and the neck has to be tailored for the bowl, I will glue this in. I will glue it to the box and also put screws from underneath the box coming up right through here and these two blocks here I will glue to the box and to the neck. Well I have the neck installed and I've got my screws in the back. Well I put the finish on my biscuit that's going to go on top of my bowl right here. The disc piezo will go underneath the bowl in here, but I don't want to glue this directly onto the metal. I'm going to drill a hole through the bowl so the piezo gets contact with the wood biscuit on the top. Well, here's the hole in my bowl. It's not pretty. It was a dull drill bit, but my biscuit is going to cover that, and it gives me enough wood sticking through the bottom to make contact with the piezo pickup. Now I'm going to hot glue the bowl inside the box. Okay, this is what I've done after I glued the bowl into the box. I took the biscuit and I held it right here over the hole that I drilled in the, in the bowl, put hot glue through the hole onto the biscuit and glued the piezo disc pickup right to the biscuit on the underneath side. Then I just ran the wires 
to my output jack. This guitar is ready to button up. I'm going to put my four screws right here, string it up, and we're going to see how it sounds. Well, here's a look at the finished guitar. Well, what do you think? Wow. 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 I built this dog ball resonator on a 23 inch scale. I am tuned to an open E, E, B, E. And I'm going through my Vox Mini 5 amp here. And we're just going to pick it and see how it sounds out here. Well, that was a fun build. It came out great and sounds good too. If this video gave you some good ideas about building a dog bowl resonator, please let me know down there in the comments. If you like how-to videos on cigar box guitars, please subscribe to this channel by clicking that button right down there. And don't forget to hit like, because that really helps me out. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, which are coming up here or here. My name is Michael. We'll see you next time. Take care. When the rain starts a falling, it's gonna rain all night long.